Uh, Thomas Kramer will begin our presentation this evening. He brought us together for, the, for an intense experience of receiving information, speculating on the future, and drawing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I, may I introduce Thomas Kramer. Thank you very much, Liz. And welcome, everyone, to the final presentation of the South Point Charette. For those who just joining us, this evening is a result of six days of creative energy and intensive planning the likes of South Florida has never seen. <laughs> the purpose to create a high quality living environment for South Miami Beach. The plans you will see tonight are the result of the Charette process, which includes the participation of architects of world renown, city officials, civic groups, residents, property owners, marina experts, zoning experts, historians, and of course, interested citizens. Through this collective effort, they were able to create a forum of ideas and give every participant a sense of ownership in the final product. The key components for success is the level of input and cooperation from the whole community. The architectural design teams have focused on community needs, incorporating buildings, an intimate human scale, while providing solutions for diverse needs such as residential units, retail space, and of course hotels. Since last Wednesday, this group of professionals have worked morning, evenings, and sometimes late through the night to deliver their creative design solutions for our community. This evening, we will be seeing brief slide presentations of nine designs for South Point, produced by 10 firms in the last six days. So let's begin. The firm of Sandy and Babcock, located in Miami and San Francisco, has been in practice for 32 years. During that time, the firm has worked in 15 countries and won some 150 design awards. Michael Graves Architects, based in Princeton, New Jersey, is a name known throughout the world for design excellence. Bernardo Ford Brescia of Architectonica and Todd Tragash of STA Architects will be presenting. The Coconut Grove firm of Bermeo, Ajamil and Partners is well established here with some 70 staff members and an impressive roster of award-winning projects. We have with us tonight the firm of Abdel Wahid El Wakil Associates with offices in England and Saudi Arabia. Andres Duwani and Elizabeth Plater Zyberg are the principals of DPZ Architects in Miami. This firm has gained international renown for its work with new and existing community redesign. The Seeger Architectural Partnership in Miami has joined forces with the firm of Robin Bosco Architects and Planners for our Charette. They have done a wide variety of projects in many parts of the U.S. Bernard Siskovich of the Miami firm of Siskovich Architects is involved in several projects in the Miami area. At the risk of repeating myself, I must say that Robert A.M. Stern is also a name synonymous with design excellence. Robert Stern and Paul Whalen will be presenting. I'd like to show you quick quickly, which is the famous last word of architects, um, as you know, um, as quickly as I can, uh, this uh, scheme. Uh, this plan, first of all, we want to keep as many streets and vistas uh, of existing Miami open to the water as possible. We have no buildings uh, crossing the streets uh, um, uh, um, uh, to the water, and when we block one avenue coming in the north-south direction. We recognize Ocean Drive as one major street, and we carry it further south around the, um, the, the, the um, uh, South Point Tower here uh, to, and, and link it up to Washington Street. So you have a continuous drive there. The existing park will remain uh, here in place, um, and the parking lot that's there with crawdaddies would go away, and instead you would park along the street like normal people do right here, um, uh, and everyone would have access to the park. I'm very grateful to Joan Bass, 
Stephen Savage of Joe Stonecrab's restaurant for their hospitality. And um, I want to show you our own. And also my special thanks go to all Miami Beach City officials, government leaders, and citizens who have helped us make this charrette possible. A special thank also to Senator Connie Mack, who flew down from Washington to review our progress. It has been my privilege to have been a part of this South Beach charrette. And I thank you all very much. Thank you. TK's final vision proposed a complete overhaul and numerous upgrades that would transform South Point into a world-class luxury location the likes of San Tropez, Portofino, or Monaco. After 14 years of titanic struggle with politicians, lawyers, and developers, living through countless lawsuits, spending millions in revising plans and on legal fees, a good part of TK's original vision is today Miami Beach's reality. TK came to town and transformed a slum into one of America's most sought-after locations.